Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to GD Brick Films, and today this is going to be our third review on the channel, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different, so instead of just reviewing this new Miles Morales mech that was released January 1st, 2021, we're going to be reviewing actually the Captain America armor mech and the Thor armor mech. Now, what I like about these sets are they're very cheap and they have a lot of playability. They offer many new minifigs because I think I think this Thor is a new, I don't think his body is, but I think that helmet we haven't seen before. Miles Morales, completely new with the, um, this is what he looks like right here. He has that new hood piece with the red sweater and the dual molded legs. I think if you can, if you notice, his eyes for his mask are actually a lot different than the one that we have currently, as well as the spider logo. And for Cap, I think this is a completely new fig. Um, he has this kind of, he has the cowl, it's kind of like the flash cowl but without the lightning bolt ears, as well as a completely new torso, you can see he has some more detail and yeah also don't he also has a strap right there that's shown but anyways enough of me talking let's get these things built We have the Thor mech armor, or otherwise known as set 76169, and as you can see, it comes with a Thor fig. Oops. Here he is. Let's see if I can get him to focus. It's not working. There we go. So here, you can see he has. Uh, Mjolnir, obviously, and this new helmet, I think, the helmet piece I was talking about, it's like the Thor Ragnarok, I'll put a picture up on the screen for reference if you need it, he does have, um, he does have back printing, first of all, and a dual molded face, so I'd say a pretty worthwhile figure for a $10 set. Now let's get on to the mech. Here we have the mech in all of its glory, and I guess to start off we should be looking at the front. So as you can see, he has a little print right here, which is actually printed onto the piece. It is not a sticker. And I know lots of people have been complaining that this mech does have stickers. I don't really mind as much, but there are quite a few. As you can see, there are stickers on both sides right here right there if i can just do that and mjolnir or the bigger mjolnir i should say has stickers like everywhere it's even on this side too uh i don't really mind it as much oh yeah and there's stickers here too i don't mind it but i can see why people are complaining about it uh, I do like the build overall. I like the mechanics of how to put Mjolnir in his hand, which is it has a little stud, or not a stud, it has a connect piece, which you can put in right there, and it just kind of clicks in. And then you can wrap the fingers around it, so it looks like he's using it. As far as playability wise, it is very good. It can stand up on its own in almost every position. It's pretty far and it has the feet are pretty wide so it has lots of good balance and it actually has a little clip here that doesn't see on this side it's flat but on this side it has a clip to hold the mini Mjolnir it gives you for the Thor minifigure and the way you hold him actually in the mech is this opens and you can just kind of pop him out and it looks like that in there it has a little thing where you put in between the minifigure's legs and he just slides in and boom. My only real complaint is that I wish instead of these as the cape because we couldn't really get one. Back, um, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but they made these Star Wars mechs like Bionicles and they had actual fabric capes and I wish we could have gotten a smaller version of that to put on this. But 
for ten dollars i guess it's a pretty worthwhile set we get what we need nothing else nothing more all right so here we have our second mac and this one's the miles morales mac aka set seven six one seven one and here we, we can get a close-up of the miles morales figure now as you can see let me just focus this in as you can see he comes with that little thing to hold the web shooters if you don't want to put it in this little thing which i will get to in a second he also comes with web cuffs and as you can see this does pop off and it's a little hood piece that you could probably use for anyone if you decide to take him apart now what i find interesting is that this actually instead of just being a plain maroon has back printing which is just the miles morales logo which i still find to be pretty cool but anyways enough of me babbling let's get straight let's look at the mech so here's the mech and i guess we should just start off at the front again so as you can see this one is much much more thin than the compared to the thor one it still has the print which again is not a sticker and this mech does not have any stickers and as you can see these feet are very slim and they can't really connect to any studs here so it is they do balance which is good but it is harder for playability uh, I like the translucent webs all over and how he has a shield on this hand and webs going out of this hand. The way you attach the webs is simple. It's like this, and as you can see, it just clips on right there. Now, for the back, we have these two little web things. I honestly don't know what they are. They kind of remind me of like a jetpack, but obviously they can't be. What I really like about this set is the, mainly the translucent webs. The translucent webs were really just a big touch for me. They remind me of his bioelectricity, like his electrical powers. It reminds me a lot about that, and I'm glad they didn't just use the white webbing that they always use. I'm hoping that we see more Miles Morales in the future, and if we do, we get these. And I'm really glad we are seeing more Miles Morales now. He is the, one of the best Spider-Men. Mainly, it also has these like shoulder blade kind things they, that go in like opposite directions, and the way to get him out is the same as the Thor mech, and you just kind of slide him out, like so. Now, let's get on to our third and final build, which is the Captain America. All right, and here it is. Here's our third and final mech. Let's get a close-up of the minifig, and we'll go straight into the mech. So, here we have the Captain America fig. And if you can see, there's a lot of detail on this fig. As you can see, there are little, I guess you could say feathers on it. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are like light blue lines there too, to really accent it all. And I love the star too. The star really, it looks like 3D. And this, he does have dual, he has a double face, I should say and one is with the strap and the other was is without he also has back printing let's see what he looks like with the cowl on so he looks like that i don't really like how it looks without the strap but it's honestly just how you feel uh here we have the shield which is the newer shield design with the gray background instead of it all just being red with the white and blue like tape not taped over but printed over it and he doesn't have any leg printing, which is kind of disappointing, but what can you expect? And before we get into it, let's just go for it, I guess. So here's the mech. We'll start up with the front like we always do, and we'll show you. See, now this is actually much different than the other ones. See, the other ones had a like tile, but it had a curve. This one is just a shield print up close, and it's just put on like a stud the hands are smooth on the inside and both in the thumbs and fingers are actually different pieces and it's the same on both hands and with this mech the feet are actually wider just like the thor one unlike the miles morales one where the feet are more skinny and in the back it can clip the shield onto its leg and i'll show you where it goes it goes right there and it's just a simple click and then you boom you're done but so here we have this is how you put the shield on right there 
and if you want to put it, you can take it off, and it actually has studs on the center, so you can attach it right there. And, this is, and you just put it on the arm the exact same way, and boom. So now he has the shield. And yeah, that's basically all of the mechs. Three of the mechs lined up together. In total, all of these mechs had three bags each, except for Miles Morales, who had an extra bag to keep all of the webbing in, like LEGO usually does. I just want to say thank you for everyone so much for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. second mech built and this one is the M miles morales mech aka set seven six one seven one and if you oh my god